Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to collecting corrupt hearts in Ark Extinction. Corrupt hearts are items that drop from powerful corrupted creatures. You will need 100 of them if you wish to summon a titan at a titan terminal, so it's important that we come up with a method of farming them efficiently. One of the best places that I've found to farm Corrupt Hearts is in the southwest corner of the map in a location called the Sulphur Fields. Here we're going to be hunting Corrupted Rexes, Spinos, and Parasers. These seem to have the right balance of being relatively easy to kill, and also have a high chance of dropping Corrupt Hearts. The wiki states that any Corrupted creature has a chance of dropping Corrupt Hearts, but I definitely find that the more powerful creatures are the ones with the much higher chance. It is also important to note that my server is at a five times multiplier, so your results may vary. I recommend enabling item collection when farming for corrupt hearts on whatever creature you're using. I do find this mechanic to only work some of the time, but when it does, it massively increases the rate at which you can collect hearts. Otherwise, you will have to demount and collect the hearts from caches on the ground. At this location just below the sulfur fields, you will find lots of parasers and spinos as well, but it won't be anywhere near as hot, so if you have issues with heat management, this might be a great location for you to farm instead. There are, of course, other locations like the Forbidden Zone that have lots and lots of creatures that you could farm for corrupt hearts, though I would highly recommend maybe, perhaps not, maybe not the Forbidden Zone. The final method of farming Corrupt Hearts is defending orbital supply drops, particularly yellow and red ones. There you will find lots of Parasers and Rexes and Spinos that spawn in, and also Wyverns if you're doing red ones, and those will provide you with lots and lots of Corrupt Hearts. And you also get the added advantage of getting the stuff out of the orbital supply drop as well. Do you know any other methods of farming for Corrupt Hearts? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, or better yet, check out our merchandise available from Teespring. You can find it now here at this link or in the description below. And as always, have fun out there.